to know what goes into being one of the pros in the entertainment industry. Ask me questions. On Ask a Pro, on the Stir Up, with me, Miss Cosmo. Let's believe it's going down. We do have uh, this month's Ask a Pro, who I brought in. Well, can't necessarily bring them into the studio because 2020 is a little bit tricky <laughs> for us. So today... I do have an awesome person who's going to be chatting to us on uh, the air with regards to songwriting. And that amazing person mm-hmm. that I have on the line is the one and only Moon Child Saneli. Moon Child, how are you, babes? I'm good. Thanks, Ms. Kazma. How are you? I'm good, man. Welcome to 2020, where we're doing interviews via Zoom and linking into the system and making sure everyone can hear us and I can hear you and I can see you. Huh? It's been lit, eh? It's been yes. freaking crazy. It's, <laughs> it's, but it's been awesome as well because it's just like, I think especially musically it's forced everyone to stream stuff which has literally moved us way faster than it would have in a normal year so shout out to at least digital make benefiting from do you know what i mean that yes situation. yes 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 and speaking about digital digital is is something that we are all moving into as artists it's a it's a, it's a movement where people are no longer printing cds we're no longer um mm-hmm. depending on on physical units for music to get out there so mm-hmm zeroing in onto you being a songwriter that obviously means you are now able to physically track for yourself as a songwriter as to how these economics can kind of come together for you that you have uh, like uh, when musicians have the uh, the power in their hands to be able to track and all that jazz it's like then you can especially when you know which territories are um are buying your music that's when you start looking at what you in what places you're investing the social media posts um, mm. too, which audience it is, because it helps you zoom in, so you don't have to necessarily be pushing like a blind mouse, you know. Yeah. So it's awesome, and especially giving back um, the freedom and the power to independent artists that don't necessarily have a publisher yet, don't necessarily have a label yet. Um, you're an amazing artist. We've played your music for years here on Five FM. We've been a okay. huge supporter of of your art and your craft, and we really love the direction you always take. It's always out of the box. It's always mm-hmm. Um, experimental <laughs> and that's one yeah. of the reasons why I chose to speak to you as a songwriter as opposed to anybody else because I love the fact that you are bla- based yourself in different genres and haven't boxed yourself into saying I only make gum and that's where you're gonna hear me yeah. you know you play with the EDMs you play with the electro funk you play with um, a lot of uh, pop and rock as well and, and hip hop and uh, recently mm-hmm. you've just done done a huge song with Gorillaz yeah how are you feeling about that song I'm so excited because it's like, especially with the alternative lovers that aren't necessarily listening to alternative South African music. Mm-hmm. It's like South Africa getting to hear a different side to me, you know. Yes. Um, it's just crazy because I love them and I also grew up listening to them. So it's just epic because it's it's another part of my career, which goes back to the songwriting yes. um, that exists in the UK, you know which helps in them exploring more South African sounds. Mm. So it's, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And it's been epic. And they play me every day. Um, I've even made it to BBC Kids, the main channel. Wow. <laughs> That's a kids in the UK. Like, um, like they're eating me up, me as Corsa, but it's a completely different sound. Yes. Followed by everything else that I'm known for in SA. So yeah, songwriting, you that's so dope. That's that's when you know when you've got the kids, you know you've really gotten yourself straight into it. So how exactly did you get yourself into the profession of songwriting? Because it's one thing being an artist, it's a different thing when yeah. someone's gonna call you and say, Yo, I need you to help me write this verse, I need you to help me finish this song. I mean, I come from poetry mm. and then from poetry I went into the hip hop space. From there I wanted more went into the jazz space. That's when I opened for Mama Mutin song or and then from there, I wanted 2007, I wanted to create my own sound. So that already was not limited because my background comes with me having written, I mean, not having rent and living with a band that's doing reggae and knowing that I'm writing them songs to have accommodation so they don't complain, you know. Oh, wow. um, but all of those struggles were like a part of the freedom that I have when it comes to songwriting now. And because I was never been genre limited when it comes to my music, I always write stories. I guess it gets picked up over time because then that's how I got into ads. Yeah. That's how uh, a part of my surviving of lockdown was doing something with um, Red Bull because they know they're coming in, you're writing a song, cool, great. The songwriting is money. Songwriting is like a business that if a song is out, you know it's, it's your check forever. It's your yes. check forever. 
even just the stuff that um, Beyonce samples without my name being there. We know behind the scenes what's happening. And it's like, I know my, every time you hear K, K on, on the song, it's just like, check, check. So, um, songwriting is a money maker. It's the, it, that's the money. Like, that's the money. Throwing up my DM, wanna meet for lunch. Breakfast or a dinner. Bane sit in a hasiti, kisses a kriba. Bane haba andis or a naba shia. And there you have it. That is the Gorillas featuring Moon Child. So nearly on that one, it's called With Love to an X. We ex a move, pillow your mood. Hey. No, it's like it's not even like that. I mean, I remember that one was just before I started touring, so it was a lot of stress. And when I got to London and recorded the song, I was just like, actually, you know what? I'm 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 big now, so uh, don't call me. I don't want to do lunch, yes. breakfast, or a dinner with because when we were together, you had problems. I dreamt too much. I was too much. I had a big butt, but they wanted me. But all the boys wanted it's like. You got problems, so I'm not coming to that party. <laughs> so I had to say it to Gorillaz. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. I love that so much. All right, so obviously when you are, when you're getting into the zone and you're about to pin down a song and obviously you listen to the beats and you jones to it and you have a good time, what are the key mm-hmm. things that you think you need to put down for you to ensure that it's going to be a hit? So it's like my process is sometimes if it's me starting from scratch, I can write to a metronome if, as long as I've got my own thing. Um, I'll think of a word and if I think of a word, I can be in that room and paint the picture of that room. That's how I write. So first time meeting Damon from Gorillaz, I wrote 10, I wrote about 10, 13 songs in three days. That's, That's how crazy. I got to You're like That's a Chinese factory shop. What's going on? I write so <laughs> fast. So fast, like I surprised everyone all the time. I remember first time with Ricky when we came with you. He's just like, "What the hell?" I remember with Anati. Anati was like, "No way!" It's just like, especially like writers, you know. Um, but I just, I just go into a world. I just need one word. I go into the world and I just describe it for you. Sometimes underground rappers will hate on someone mainstream because of the simplicity and the art comes from the simplicity because if you can respect Shakespeare and the sonnet, that's 16 lines. That means you can respect a commercial artist who touches the freaking country and the world with just 16 lines because you can't do it. And that's the creative art. When you call yourself a creative, no one has the attention span of three pages of one emotion. So how do you then put yourself in a mindset when you're going to have to write for other people for them to be able to then mm-hmm. perform those songs? How do you get yourself into that mindset and that emotion to be able to yeah. bring that out of somebody else's voice? The craziest thing is that because I'm so... Uh, um, but I'm very sensitive with my brand. I, I've decided I'm fighting cool great. And then I don't like being vulnerable. I do that with the shrink. And then I can do that with everyone else. So it's like the extent of ex- the vulnerable extensions of myself where I can write you an Afro pop song, where I can write you a song to rock and roll. It's just like elements of myself. But what I choose to represent as Moonchild is fight, 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 win, 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 women power, women power, women power. So I am able to be vulnerable when it's for someone else. It's like acting, where you can cry about something you could never cry for in real life. And it's believable because you've actually got something you carry. So I also use it as my channel to just like um, um. branch out with people that are more emotional. Love. I don't really write about love. I write about how I'm going to get you. <laughs> how I'm going to rock you. Yeah, we know all I of that. We've heard you. that. <laughs> you know? so, now, uh-huh. there's a huge, there's a huge misconception in hip hop about yes. having a ghostwriter. Oh yeah, and <laughs> and it's it's like this big thing where rappers are like, nah, nah, I gotta write my own bars, nah, you know, yeah. I'm I gotta go in because it's all about my street I street cred. And then yes. sometimes these ra- these same rappers are the ones who give us very mediocre music. <laughs> you know I mean, what I like, mean? They could have um, gotten so, help. <laughs> they could have gotten help. So obviously Uh there's ways and means that songwriters can help without the artist feeling as though they've given away this thing you're going to say, oh, I wrote the raps. Do you know what I love about, Mm. I'll tell you one thing, Um, especially because I'm a songwriter, I love Boiti for not stressing herself, whatever flex she gets. That's how you can do a song. I love Boiti for being smart. If you've got a whole package, people like us are hired to songwrite like pe- for people that just have an image and are ne- not necessarily strong and can admit that they're not strong in that space and they need help. 
I fucking respect that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really respect that. Because I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was touching that. Oh, I'm doing so well. You're going to get me I fired, really please. <laughs> I'm sorry, my love. No, because I really respect it. It's just like, yo, calm down. Because now, what do you want? You want to, you're going to hit on her if she writes for herself alone without assistance and getting co writers involved. You hate her anyway. So sit down. Girl, win. I'm here for you. Let's go. What What exactly is the portion of the publishing that is is in, sort of entitled to a songwriter? Let's say I write an entire 16 bars for a rapper. Let's say I've now done the first verse of his song. And I've only written mm-hmm. the first verse. I haven't written the second verse. What percentage am I liable or is due to me? For instance, if I'm doing a feature with something that's not... Um, with someone that's not going to help with us where we're growing, um, I always charge to just make you just to discourage you or make sure that you really want it then i also want a percentage of the master and the publishing so how to many discourage. How why many are you people, discouraging people <laughs> they need to really want it because well it's like you've got access enough now here's here are my conditions you need to really want it i don't want to i can't be giving you my name i've also hustled i've given i've given some a lot of stuff up and so i'm saying this is the way to get into this opportunity if i are serious if you're serious let's go i'll give you the best 16 because if my name is there i'm giving you my all mm. so i mean i i, I if doing sing deals and stuff like that you don't want to write for free anymore but you do when it's it's, it's always passion driven first yeah. Then you get you get to learn the discipline of getting to get your money as simple as easy as it comes to you because who said being wealthy from what comes easy to you is a problem? That's you why Rihanna's not making music it. anymore because she doesn't write for herself and she, she just said, "Hey, you guys are actually taking yeah. my money because I'm performing here, but I'm not making money out of this music." That's why she said, "Hey, I'm rather going to make makeup. I'm going to make lingerie because that's the real money yeah, for her." <laughs> And there's a whole camp. There's a whole camp. There's mm. everyone who's just been sitting looking. Yeah, I want this. Yeah, I want that. Yeah, I want this. While focusing on that, because you know what, she still has a voice to carry all of that that speaks to her. She can yeah. make it even better. So I mean, why struggle when you don't have to? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we've gotten uh, our fair share of information for tonight. Obviously, the rest. Um, the information is available on social media. What you, what the the gems you've shared for us tonight are things that I don't think a lot of people have thought about and how important they are in the whole um, mm-hmm. machine of actually making music. That you don't necessarily have to be in front of a mic in front of a stage because some people can write, but yeah. they've got stage fright. And it's awesome that you can still get mm-hmm. your message out there without having to to go through that anxiety. Um, so thank yeah. you so much, Moonchild. Thank you so much for sharing. We really do appreciate it. Thank you for being a pro for uh, for this month. Thank you so much. I'm so I know it was casual. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Five FM. Watch Five FM TV on YouTube. Five FM.